ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದಸೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಬ್ಬ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗು ಉಲ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾ ವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಶ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವಭತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ಇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚಿನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂ ಕರೋಷ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಕೌರ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗುಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಪಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ವ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವ ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ 
ज्यास्ते हृदय संबीत निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे लाद करो रूप अपी भगवान जया लादते लादयति चौसा लादनी लादो करो रूप अपी भगवान जया लादते लादयति चौसा लादनी गौड़ियों गोष्ठीपति गौड़ियों गोष्ठीपति शीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट फॉर अस वी डोंट हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेजर इन दैट वी डोंट हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ एलिजिबिलिटी एंड कैपेसिटी बाय विच वी कैन गेट द एक्चुअल कृपा ऑफ भगवान we can get the actual prem of bhagwan that actual nitya seva of bhagwan we can get in our life this kind of uh, eligibility and capacity we don't have at all jitna whatever paisa ka tha whatever the power of money jitna whatever is the power of uh, uh, man power jitna whatever money power whatever position power whatever educational qualification that we have so everything if we will collect and whatever experience we are having material experience we are having in our in this material world that from our birth till up till now whatever if we will collect all the things if we will be just uh, uh, giving it away we will not be getting uh, the bhagwat charan at all we cannot get the lotus feet of bhagwat bhagwan because in order to get uh, bhagwat prem in order to get bhagwan especially that in the gaudiya sampradaya that kind of topmost which are hidden that rag bhakti if you want to achieve that apart from that in uh, more going you go up that kamanuga bhakti if you want to achieve then that is very much very very rare to get in if you are just to be discussing that still you will be feeling so much shy uh, that is so much top uh, topmost in depth uh, uh, vichar is there in that but if still we are thinking that it is very much difficult that by just by uh, will be just uh, uh, leaving all the efforts in order to do that then this is also not good but it, it doesn't mean that we will be just leaving all the kind of efforts for that it is not at all good to leave the effort proper speaking that hum log bimar that we are actually in a diseased condition still we are in a diseased condition we are having some disease inside our heart that so much disease is there so much disease is there that you can't even imagine that is bimari in and in this diseased condition sir lot of rich food if you will be taking that rich rich food if you will be taking that in a diseased condition then in that what will happen that we will just get killed we will be killing ourselves only that we are actually in a very uh, uh, diseased condition that is called bhavarog material disease that is called material disease in order to just get rid of this material disease in order to get just get rid of uh, rid out of this material disease it's very very difficult to get out of this but still if we will if we will just be getting in a diseased or ill condition only all that all the all the time and we are just by taking uh, barley and sago in order to just uh, uh, treat our cell that is not at all good it doesn't mean that for our whole life that we will be just uh, taking uh, uh, barley and sago for our whole life it is not like that it's not like that it is not at all good to do that it is not at all good propa actually speaking you see that our uh, what is our ultimate target that is our raganuga bhakti only that inside is if you will be just going and you will be just separating it and categorizing it that rupanuga bhakti that kamanuga bhakti inside that it is given that actual place there 
सो दैट इज़ वेरी मच रेयर टू गेट इन दिस लाइफ बट जस्ट बाय विदाउट बाय जस्ट गिविंग अप एवरी थिंग इट इज़ नॉट एट ऑल द एक्चुअल क्राइटेरिया टू गेट इन टू ऑन टू दैट प्लेटफॉर्म इफ विल बी जस्ट गिविंग अप गिविंग अप आवर सेल्फ जस्ट लाइक लूजर इट इज़ नॉट एट ऑल गुड एंड इन ऑर्डर टू गिव अप इट डजेंट मीन दैट लाइक इन अ वेरी इंथ्यूजियस्टिंग वोट फॉर सम टाइम्स सम पर्सन इज जस्ट डूइंग समथिंग इट इज़ नॉट लाइक दैट इट इज स्ट्रिक्टली प्रोहिबिटेड एज वेल टू डू लाइक दिस दिस कंसेप्शन इज स्ट्रिक्टली प्रोहिबिटेड इफ यू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ पावर दैट देन द प्योर गुरु वैष्णव अंडर द अनुगत्य you have to do because in this life if that top most uh, thing is there in the life for in the life of bonded jeevas in the life of bonded jeevas if someone is actually asking me that maharaj what is the top most uh, difficult thing for a bonded jeeva in this life the top most difficult and heavy thing uh, for this thing in this life is to do that which becomes almost impossible for them to do that is called vishuddha to guru vaishnav anugatya to do the anugatya pure guru vaishnav to do the pure guru vaishnav anugatya that is very much difficult it is almost impossible to do why because from the infinity time that kind of independent or liberty what they are having uh, in uh, inside them they are actually actually they have to sell that on to the lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav for the whole life they just need to sell on to the lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav it is impossible for them to do that it is not at all possible that's why just by speaking only it is not at all we are actually just feeling very good raganuga bhagaj rupanuga bhajan ragar mochandrika it's by speaking only it looks good but uh, in practical application that we will be under the guidance of pure guru vishnu will be following it under actual practical guidance then one uh, rasik uh, bhakt shila bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur pad is there but don't but no one knows that shila bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur is a very top most rasik acharya they are thinking that their conception is so much uh, false and so much rubbish their conception is so much lower and rubbish and like a garbage that they are thinking that that in between all the time there is actually he'll be talking about ras then he is actually rasik the like sahajias they are speaking like saraswati goswami thakur is not rasik because he is in in his heart there is a heart is very dry he is they he is not at all rasik but this is the actual point of every pondered jiva but this is totally wrong conception totally wrong conception this kind of they are having shila bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur babad apart from him no one in this whole material infinity world you can find that rasik person in this whole kodiya society it is impossible to get like that but the persons are having a wrong conception why because prabhupad actually is sahajya rasiks they are available there in the market they are they, because they are having prabhupad having very strict vichar dhara so that's why uh, keshav goswami maharaj always used to speak raksha bhakti rakhak shridham maharaj also used to speak that julan we are not at all doing in our mat because our gurudev it is not the actual permission given to us that the actual abhishta the we just need to do under his guidance what he has told us so much topmost uh, 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 vaishnavi is but still he is speaking that i don't have any dikar in chulan why so that in order we can just become careful and cautious about this point so that we all bonded jeevas can become cautious about this point that that an adhikar will be just searching that we i don't have any kind of adhikar to do that that's why he is just making us careful each and every point to follow the pure guru vishnu of lineage but prabhupad actually speaking that for your whole life that i that sago and barley i don't have this kind of i have already just made sure that i'll be taking barley and sago so just by giving up what do you mean by not giving up it's just to do guru guru vaishnava anugatya that is the the top most uh, uh, effort that is a top most difficult point but that is the top most easy as well process as well why because in our life if anugatya is 100% uh, in our life for pure guru vaishnava if we got that anugatya under the guidance of uh, pure guru vaishnava then for millions of life you will you will not understand what is raganuga bhajan for millions of life for infinity life also you will not understand and if anugatya you are getting 100% by chance by the kripa of bhagwan 
then you can understand the sanskar of uh, the boy is just like that if he can understand then definitely he can understand what is raganuga that apart from hari bhajan so much easy process there is no other way in this whole material world because for us in our life that kind of material experience it is everything for us that is uh, that, that is a topmost capital for us according to that on that support only we just want to go ahead in our bhajan life but in but like this it is not at all possible to do actual hari bhajan so it is very much difficult it is not at all possible to do what to do propad actually speaking that like water just just by giving water and just by uh, getting uh, the fearfulness out of the water regarding water we don't know how to swim but still we want to swim in water and just by seeing the water we are becoming fearful and we are thinking oh i can't swim now this kind of feeling coming so we have definitely have to go into the water and have to try to swim only then we can understand how to practice swimming we have to make the efforts after that we will be able to maybe some day or other we will be getting how to swim in the water swimming how to do swimming in the water we can get the actual uh, experience but before that if you are becoming fearful by seeing the water this kind of possibility is not at all there at all that under the anugati of pure guru vaishnav that's why pure guru vaishnav anugati is very much important prabhupad has told us that in vidhi mark slowly steadily slowly steadily you just need to move forward in your rag mark bhajan and when that vidhi it will become the will naturally in our it will become a natural behavior for us then automatically naturally we will get uh, that priti onto the lotus feet of bhagwan prabhupad speaking that bhagwan katha that bhagwan's hari katha is uh, that uh, the own eternal parshad of bhagwan that who are the agent of bhagwan themselves that we need just need to uh, listen to them like like the uh, railway authorized agent you are just uh, uh, booking one railway ticket to him of not from outside you are booking the ticket from the railway authorized source agent so in the same way that i've already told in the bhagavatam that in your life that the previous experience in your life that education whatever is there each and everything you just need to just need to throw that and after that you just need to have to just throw the logical interpretation away that yukti everything you just need to stop that and after that that living idealism that living idealism that sadhu that firing example you just need to go you just have to uh, hear a very powerful hari katha from him virjavan means that topmost powerful hari katha that what kapil of kapil ji maharaj actually speaking to mother devahuti mama virj sangvid havanti hrit karna rasayana katha tajyushanat asu apavarg vatmani sadhya bhakti sadhya at that time what will happen that all all the sadhus what they are doing why they are actually speaking so strict pravachan in front of us why they are actually speaking so much strictly in front of us it means they are speaking that the sadhus all the pure guru vaishnav they whatever the garbage is there inside our heart all the anarts will they will just destroy that that actual sadhu he is actually to sacrifice your whimsical will whimsical attitude one vastav sadhu is just like that only that for he will be just uh, uh, he'll be just taking one sword in order to just cut your anarth inside your heart whatever garbage and whatever the uh, unknowledgeableness you have regarding that brahma tattva bhagavat tattva that he is already there with the sword to cut that off that this is so much you, if you have that courage if you don't have courage then you can go away if you have that courage you go to a pure guru vishnu wherever you want to go okay you can go if you don't have the courage so whatever uh, desire you have you can do according to that so this harikatha just by hearing that slowly steadily 
बिकॉज इन भागवत जी महापुराण इट इज रिटर्न बुद्धिमान द टॉप मोस्ट नॉलेजेबल पर्सन हु इज एक्चुअली नॉलेजेबल दैट ही विल नॉट एट ऑल लीव साधु संग एट ऑल ही विल नॉट लीव द एसोसिएशन ऑफ साधु आई वॉन्ट टू आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक लाइक दैट दैट ऑल दो प्योर गुरु वैष्णव ऑफ जस्ट बाई जस्ट स्टेइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट यू विल गेट अपराध दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू गो अवे इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट माई विचार इज नॉट लाइक दैट माई विचार इज नॉट लाइक दैट दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू स्टे इन फ्रंट बाई स्टेइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव यू विल गेट अपराध एंड यू विल जस्ट फॉल डाउन इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट लाइक प्रभुपा जी एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग प्रभुपा जी दैट हिज वन हिज वन हिज सरेंडर डिसाइपल एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू प्रभुपा दैट कैन वी गो टू हैव द दर्शन ऑफ शिला वंशी दास बाबा जी महाराज नो 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 यू कांट गो इट इज नॉट यू आर नॉट एट ऑल एलिजिबल टू गो देयर एंड हैव दर्शन यू विल बी जस्ट थिंकिंग ऑपोजिट वॉट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज ही इज डूइंग दैट यू विल डू अपराध डेफिनेटली ऑन डोज लोट यू विल जस्ट गेट फॉल डाउन फ्रॉम योर कंडीशन दैट यू डोंट नीड टू गो टू सी बाबा जी महाराज सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक लाइक दैट दैट नो बडी शुड गो टू प्योर गुरु वैष्णव डेफिनेटली दे शुड कम बट that topmost vichar that siddhant vichar he need to understand that topmost knowledgeable he just need to understand that knowledge otherwise he will be just thinking opposite of me what i am speaking otherwise the the opposite uh, uh, pathway of knowledge will come to him so he will be thinking me wrong and uh, wrong pathway if he will go then definitely abrad will come in that i am i am i am actually very much very happy when small small boys can stay with me and can do seva and i have this kind of uh, thing also that lot of small uh, small young guys uh, small child should come here and all should come and have some mist ghost in front of me and i should speak hari katha in front of them and slowly steadily they can hear i don't know anything whatever by the krip of gurudev i have got i don't know anything whatever uh, k- by the krip of krishna i am getting i am actually maybe in uh, in the future life they will be small small boys they will be just becoming top most sanyasis and sadhus they can become top most sadhus this is my actual uh, desire that's why i haven't do done any math mandir because this is my only desire that whatever small small boys uh, they will be coming to me they can just uh, Uh, understand what i have to do after when i leave my body the tradition of prabhupad actual t prabhupad that kind of parampara of prabhupad they should uh, uh, it should be uh, stay alive this is my actual bhav from my inside it means that the actual manubhist of prabhupad in order to just establish that in this whole in this world so th- that is the actual mission of my life and i don't have any other uh, mission apart from that that to i'll be just speaking anything to anyone and just speaking very strictly to others but still i have to do that the situation uh, just is uh, arise arise like that that i have to speak like that what to do i know that uh, they are actually thinking me as enemy that's why in bhagwat ji mahapurana it is written क्या करे बुद्धिमान व्यक्ति व्हाट वी द इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन विल डू दैट ही जस्ट नीड टू डू प्योर एसोसिएशन ऑफ साधु गुरु वैष्णव ही शुड डू सत्संग एक्चुअल सत्संग ही हैज टू डू इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इन द इन द नेम ऑफ सत्संग ही इज डूइंग अ सत्संग a satsang means that it's not a kind of a foul word i'm speaking some think some people are thinking that it's a foul word but it's not like that a satsang means that that their attention it is just on that uh, uh, topmost transcendental object whose attention is on that transcendental object all the time that is that is asatsang which is not on the transcendental object nitya that topmost transcendental object is pure guru vaishnav that that's that's why their asatsang is not at all possible but if they are just making one like ravan they are making one wish of a sadhu and they are just destroying the, our sampraday they are all the time just busy to destroy our sampraday like ravan that how i can uh, think that it is sat in the in front of our eyes also we can see that they are just destroying all the money position everything they are taking away and they don't have anything apart from that so how i can speak that they are doing uh, they are actually sadhus 
how I can improve that. That's why in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, just by speaking Dusang, you haven't understood what I'm speaking. Not like a small vichar I am speaking. Dusang by speaking Dusang means that that uh, that if my father if he'll come in my life he, he's just like a danger, dangerous barrier in my front of uh, Hari Katha and my Hari Bhajan then I have to leave him and kick him off that I need to leave him like Ramanuja Charja her wife her wife Jamamba he, he already left her why Ramanuja left her wife because she is actually becoming one dangerous barrier in the way of her of his Bhajan if those who are actually becoming a barrier in the way of bhajan, hari bhajan, then gopikas have just kicked off everything. They don't have any kind of desire apart from serving Krishna. Rag Varma Chandrika, that two to four pages, I just by speaking that it's not like that. It's a very in-depth wish and it has some kind of background. And after that, I just need, we need to understand that what is the actual vichar of Bhakti no Thakur. That Srila Prabhupada what he wants to speak to us. That Param Pujapat Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, what he wants to speak. And Param Pujapat Keshav Goswami Maharaj, what he wants to speak. Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, what he wants to speak. So we just need to understand that. Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj Ji, he, Maharaj Ji always used to speak that uh, today that our own sampradaya inside our own sampradaya that all sahajiyas have just uh, grown up so much sahajiyas are, have, have been grown up that just by speaking we are actually thinking very shy that how it is possible like that from where this uh, this kind of which are they are getting in our Kodimat from where they are getting this kind of uh, Appa Siddhant you haven't understand that why I why I want to I want to speak asatsang. What do you mean by dusang? Just be slightly that if some in my shuddh bhakti in the way of my shuddh bhakti in the way of my shuddh bhakti some barrier is there. In that uh, I don't need to go at all. Lot of uh, in Gaudiya bhakti people. In Gaudiamat people staying in those who are staying outside Gaudiamat that maybe they haven't seen Gaudiamat at all but still they are just making that they are sending on to Gaudiamat maybe I can think that they haven't seen Gaudiamat at all but they are actually Ashrit of Gaudiamat they are actually staying in Radha Kund they are thinking that uh, they are they are doing Raganuga Bhajan Lord of Raganuga Bhakti they are doing their actual role and work is that so all those kind of Sahajiya Babas they just need to go to them and Prabhupada even one word of Prabhupada they are actually not at all a feeling to they don't have the desire to follow that in their own life they haven't taken that in their own life they have just taken this woe that they will not accept the word of Prabhupada at all they will actually want to go to Baba Jivan in Radha Kund you see their condition lot of people are there like that in Gauriyamat they haven't seen Gauriyamat at all that they haven't stayed in Gauriyamat they don't know the actual which are of Gauriyamat also just doing Parikrama only Giraj Parikrama they are doing and they are thinking that just by doing Parikrama everything is done by that Guru Varga they are actually just going against Guru Varga that they are just going against the instructions of Guru Varga that they are just going against the Guru Parampara that may be doing crores of Parikrama you are doing but still you will not get anything you haven't understood what I am speaking that you haven't understood up till now that by all those Parikrama you are doing everything is waste everything is waste in your life why? why it is wasted? that I can give you one example regarding this I will give you the actual uh, uh, example that if some uh, I don't want to do any limbs of bhakti if we are doing if any limbs of bhajan we are doing whether shravan, kirtan, parikram whatever we are doing everything should be do we have to do under the guidance of Guru Varga and Guru Anugatya and he hasn't done that he has just taken one photo of Gurudev okay, in his house 
He has just taken one photo of Guru. Okay, it's not possible that you are doing Anugatya of Guru Dev. Each and every word of Guru Dev, you just need to understand and have to take in your life. Why he? I am speaking that his parikrama is uh, all uh, all a waste. That because you are actually going against the instructions of Guru Bhag, you the Siddhanta Vichar of Gaudiya Math. You haven't. You have just gone against. Maybe unknowingly you have done that. Like just you are just going to Sahajiya Baba Ji, just in order to get the instructions. All actually rubbish things. Other, when you are not at all doing any limbs of bhakti under the guidance of Guru Varga, just by your false ego you are doing that, then you don't have any kind of fruit in that. Like Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has written, like Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has written, that if by false ego, that I am actually just uh, uh, writing the Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by false ego, then I don't have this kind of uh, uh, courage to write that. You can understand what I am speaking. Those who are actually just going against Guru Vaishnav, that they are going against, don't have any respect for Sampradaya. They are going to Sahajyas. Maybe. Yes, this is the actual point maybe true that those people who don't have any kind of information regarding what is the actual object this bhajan is. Maybe they can just go on from outside, they have just done parikrama, maybe they can get some bhakti in Bukhi Sukriti, they can get that. They, they can get Sukriti definitely. They can get Sukriti definitely. Because they are inside their heart, there is no aparad inside their heart at all. Inside their heart, there is no aparad. That's why they have done parikrama. After that, going back to home, definitely they will get sukriti in that. And this sukriti, this that will not be. You, you just be careful on this point. This sukriti, what I am speaking, that sukriti is bhog, bhogan unmuk. That is called bhogan unmuk sukriti and bhaktin unmuk sukriti which sukriti he they will get it depends upon that person with what motive he has done the parikrama if he is actually doing parikrama then in order to get something in his material life then definitely he will get that he that will be called bhogan muk sukriti it means that he will get money position name fame everything he will get all girls everything will come in his life and those persons they have, haven't uh, done this parikrama uh, without asking any material thing just like for satisfaction of Bhagavan they have done that only by your prema I should get prema for you only I am doing that he will get Bhakti and Mukhi Sukriti in his life and if just by doing parikrama that very nice some uh, topmost uh, Sadguru Vaishnav we are doing the association of him then we can understand then definitely his pathway of Bhakti is just opened in front of him he will definitely get the actual bhakti in his life. You don't become uh, uh, unhappy with me. In this Harikatha, you don't become unhappy with me because this is the actual proof I have. If some aparad is there inside my heart to, uh, for some pradai, for some pradaik Vaishnav about Siddhant, which are I have some full uh, uh, aparad, then I will not be getting any fruit from the parikrama. I will not be getting the actual fruit from the parikrama. Srila Sanatan Goswami, what he has done, parikrama, he has just done with prema. Up till now, that even one parikrama of Giriraj that can give you the actual hidden treasure of prema, provided you are actually following your guru work in toto. Lot of, from very long time, that Shuddha Harinam you are getting prema. Maybe by one parikrama only, that kind of topmost prema that you can get in your life. But it depends upon with what, what mood you have done parikrama. The second thing is that that I can give you the actual proof regarding this. Now actually you, you want to hear Raghunaga Bhakti na, from Raghunaga Chandrika. One devotee one devotee he just, just murdered one another devotee. He has killed him. And what he has done in Govardhan, he is just uh, under the some Brajavasi in Bhajan Kutir of Brajavasi. The, no, maybe he, not he has killed him, lot of Aparad he has done before. And after that, he has just thrown him from the mud also. And a uh, lot of uh, uh, like a soul, like demon, he has done lot of uh, 
uh, wrong activities with him and uh, when he has just gone out of the mud and he has done some kind of 108 parikrama and maybe more than 108 parikrama he has done when he has got out of the mud and he, he is just taking the roti of uh, brajwasi and he don't know at what is actually bhajan and when he has done 108 parikrama he has done parikrama all the time maybe 8 months he is doing parikrama non stop every time he used to do parikrama not at all he is taking uh, roti and just doing parikrama that this is his only work and what happens that mud people he is speaking that okay we can just uh, take him uh, back to the mud no, uh, he is speaking that i can't stay outside i can't stay so much strict rules and regulation i'm not at all getting anything to eat and then it, to, to stay in mud is just to just do bhog of mud is uh, staying in uh, mud is to just do bhog okay he is doing bhog of mud what to do in when he just came back to the mud what to speak that means after 6 to 8 months he has just killed someone and he just ran away and he just ran away from the mud after killing someone so i just want to speak that this diksha he has done they taken hari naam diksha everything from the so called guru and just done giriraj parikrama also it is just to do murder only <laughs> i am just questioning this thing lot of people i have just seen they are doing dandavati parikrama i have just questioned them once that why you are actually doing this dandavati parikrama what is your actual motive maharaj kaam is not going from heart so so this is not the actual procedure to uh, how you will get uh, uh, victory over kaam you just need to hear pure guru vaishnav you have to associate with them that that is a top most difficult portion you just need to do that but this is actual condition what to do so in radha kund whether you are staying or whether you are staying in sham kund or whether or whether wherever you are staying it is it doesn't matter at all whether you are staying in radha kund he is actually staying in hell physically he is staying in radha kund but still he is staying in hell and and if still actually staying very uh, long distance still he is actually getting the association of radha kund sham kund it depends they actually not at all understanding what is maybe is for in very small things they are actually just paying attention they are not at all paying attention on hari katha ho oh, oh. they all hari katha who will hear of this kodiyam kodi siddhant they will not understand the siddhant no they don't have any knowledge they don't know anugate only the diksha they have taken in their life that's it they are actually busy in all of all these foolish activities they see the actual uh, rules so propad actually speaking that inside our heart that kind of dorbalata that weakness is there and earth is there inside that how we can cut that like we are actually we starting raganuga bhakti and it will cut no it's not like that sahajiya guru actually speaking like this i have i also video clipping regarding is that attention to anything You go on I am actually just started laughing. What foolish acharya he is so called acharya speaking that you don't need to under, you just go on doing you just go on doing you just go on hearing raganu ka bhakti. He is actually he, even actually he is going against his own guru dev. He is actually going against his own guru dev only. How he can just become jagat guru? You see how he can become jagat guru? He has just gone against his own guru dev only. that in parampara no one has just spoken like that our guru work but this is the actual condition what to do so prabhupad actually speaking that just by hearing hari katha slowly steadily when that kind of anarth inside our heart all will be cut and thrown away that inside our heart one that topmost one kind of uh, uh, one kind of uh, uh, enthusiasm we are getting towards guru dev that kind of confidence we have on pure guru vishnu that that they don't have any confidence on themselves also what on guru work they will be having the confidence <laughs> that they don't have confidence on themselves only how they can have confidence on guru work they don't have any confidence what they are actually speaking all rubbish they don't know on themselves also they actually are not at all thinking that what they are speaking that they don't have any kind of confidence on themselves 
the how they can actually uh, serve how they can get confidence on pure guru vishnu how it is possible not at all possible is it possible no not at all possible inside their heart that one kind of uh, confidence that kind of courage is getting inside your heart what is that courage what is that that they have full confidence on pure guru vishnu that nityanand guru var gorang mahaprabhu that the kind of pathway they have shown us gorang mahaprabhu has shown us that on that full confidence is there us samay at that time 100% percent sharnagati it is not a big thing at that time sham shaish bhagwan dayoed ananto sarvatmana asuta padam judi nirvalikam te dustaram utitaranti jadeva maya no mam mama humiti dhi sa sigal bhakshi kipa that that kind of top most uh, that in our whole bhajan life shuru se lekar from starting till the end that our whole uh, bhajan life from starting till the end that it is just by the kripa of kripa of gurudev and prabhupad oh do kripa oh daya karo oh kripa oh merciful supreme lord you just need to cry for uh, the mercy especially in raganuga bhajan from starting till the end you need to cry all the day and night you have to cry in that only you will get the, all the hidden treasure is actually uh, hidden there secrecy is there you are just taking bank balances there and you are cheating others and this is not at all the raganuga bhajan at all now it is actually even tantra mantra also they are doing just the other person can get into their uh, hands so much actually rascal number 1 they are so this is the actual condition in this life what to do so by doing this ऑल्सो बट he is by the prabhav effect of maya he, by because of anarth it is not at all in the uh, manifestation it is not manifestation is not there but now actually is uh, manifested it has come in the manifested form so that's why atma so what is the actual sahaj dharma or natural dharma of atma or not the artificial dharma the actual natural dharma of atma that what to just give uh, to do seva of bhagwan that from inside the heart you just need to do prem for bhagwan that is the topmost you just need to uh, it is just get manifested automatically and by this sharanagat devotee only inside his heart that kind of uh, in the transcendental world that kind of transcendental prema will just get ri- arise and will get manifested that topmost uh, self manifested in the transcendental world what that self manifested prema what is going on all kind of information he can get up to date so like this that actual guru nisht sat guru nisht who has top most nishta that inside the heart of that disciple that sharanagat disciple inside on inside his heart from lot of days sadhu guru sadhu vaishnav seva slowly steadily that atindra rajya that transcendental world gorak vrindavan what is going on there that swap prakash object what actually is going on there that kind of swap swap prakash object is actually just get manifested there automatically that is the actual procedure so like this you just need that you can go towards the absolute truth this is the actual pathway towards going other pathway is not at all there there is no other pathway open for you you don't have any other pathway if you go to the other pathway that kind of absolute truth in order to understand that it is not at all possible not at all possible at all in any condition it is not at all possible it everything will go in vain yesterday we were actually distending uh, we were discussing this point yesterday about what shila sachidanand under the anugatya shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur that how uh how one person 
it means one those who is doing hari bhajan and hari naam who is all the time ready to do hari naam hari bhajan about this if i'll be telling you our bhakti vinod thakur has just told jada ramam bhramam hari raso galat vaishnav janam kadachit sankpashyam stadanu gamane sad ruchi yutaha tada krishna pritta tejati sanakair mai ko dasam sarupam vibhranu bimala raso bhogam sakurati What actually spoken Bhakti Nath Thakur speaking at that time at that time Brahman Brahman Dhamit Guno Bhagwan Ji Jada Brahman Brahman Hari Raso Galat Vishnu Jan Hari Ras Me Bigal In Hari In Hari Ras he is actually all the time getting a dip into that if some Vishnu that with all the Mahajans he is getting some kind of association. and some very less less this inside the heart of someone not everyone person can do if some person that just by just by having the darshan of them some kind of it means that like them only just like what they have done the bhajan like that we are getting that kind of uh, inspiration to do bhajan Like if he is getting that ruchi, then what will happen? That by from Guru Charan Ashre up till that Krishna Anushilan by doing that slowly, steadily, that kind of material bhav is there inside his heart. It will automatically get removed. That is called. That slowly, steadily, gradually, gradual procedure. Gradual pro- by that gradual procedure, that Maya Bad Dasha automatically he will cut and throw it away. He will go up. That is a gradual promotional procedure he will follow. Slowly, steadily, he will be cutting the Maya Bad pro- procedure and going where he will go up. That he will that his own actual swarup he can just understand that he can understand his actual swarup. What does what does it mean? That he will that that about his actual swarup he can understand that that he can get that realization. That what Prabhupada also speaking this point that all the time you just by doing Hari Nam slowly steadily. Automatically inside the heart, that kind of actual realization of your swarup you will get. When that swarup will just get realization automatically, it will get manifest that I am the actual servant of Bhagwan. That person only he is becoming bimal. He is becoming the topmost pure. That kind of like not like prakrit rasa. not like prakrit uh, filthy dirty rasa it's not like that that kind of transcendental rasa will just get inside his heart about that i have already told you about this from 8 to 10 days back just chamatkar bhar bhu hridi sapt jale varam shabdati sarasam that rasa is not a normal thing It, that is is just not like a rasa of a rasgulla of a sweet ball it is not a rasa of a sweet ball like one ant they are like honey bees they are actually just getting they are going uh, they just want to take the rasa uh, forcibly forci- 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 they are going that all the ants they are actually just getting into that rasa inside that and they are just killing themselves even honey bees also they are taking the taking uh, if they are taking the rust from the uh, fruits uh, from the flowers then it is good and if some uh, uh, some honey or something is there then money honey bees will definitely come into that and after that what will happen they will just get dipped into that rasa just in order to taste that and they are just getting uh, they are just killing themselves on in that rasa only they are getting they are drowned in that rasa and after that they are just getting around that rasa and all actually they are getting killed by that so this is the condition so they don't have any kind of uh, every and their life is just gone so this is our actual this of this material world this kind of uh, uh, rasa 
of this material rasa this is the actual glorification of this material rasa that kind of actual tasting of the material ras what the sahajiyas have shown us this is the actual thing their actual motive is like this maybe uh, but in so bhagavad gita this is uh, openly it is told there raso varjam raso pashyo param drishta nivartam Uh, it is not a kind of a thing which forcibly you can get that param rab stop top most us in order to just taste that that aprakrit transcendental rasa when you will be tasting then automatically that dirty material rasa it will automatically uh, you just need to throw it away automatic it is an automatic process you will throw it away automatic ho jata दर्शन ऑब्जेक्ट्रांसिडेंटलोमेटिकलीटोमेटिकलीट before that it will not get stopped that's why what guru vaishnava do that they are doing hari karta kirtan by the by that inside the disciples a uh, heart of disciple he is actually just developing that greediness towards that transcendental object krishna that kind of greediness when we are actually developing automatically we will just going uh, towards the that object when we are not at all actually tasting the actual bhajan we are not at all tasting that even not gurudev and disciple both are not getting but they will be forcibly they are be under, uh, just discussing raganuga rupanuga bhajan then what will be the actual uh, uh, actual uh, result of that you just tell me what will be the actual result of that what you will be getting some success in this Uh, so he will become successful whether it is it is possible to get success but nowadays it's like this only what to do this is actually going on nowadays so this is the actual way but now nobody is following all material world actually all material jeevas they are just destroying their life that's it they are not at all getting anything the shlok which i have already started with where I have already told you that I have already discussed there that uh, in from Bhakti Sandarbha I have taken from Jeev Goswami Pads which are that kind of topmost shloka and before that, but two minutes before I have told what I have told you. that our bhavana that actual pathway of our bhavana from from birth till the end birth after birth a track of my own conception or thinking power thinking power that our consciousness our thinking up till what point it will go it is come can it can go up to material limit everything is our material limit only no so when will be just going after that when will be just uh, our intellect mind intelligence whatever our bhav is there up till what point it is limited it is limited all to material level only where 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 our material uh, world after just uh, getting passed away from the material world nobody can have this kind of limit to just cross the material world nobody has that existence to cross that material world at all so that our bhavana padma that maximum it can go up till material platform in this material uh, uh, definitely will be on the material platform only we can't go out of that so what kind of bhavana will who will be doing that everything is material up to, apart from that you can't go up or uh, from that that's why shri larup ko swami pad has told beti to bhavana matmo jas chamatkar bhar bhu bhavana ka mark that the actual pathway of bhavana just by not doing that when i will be going all to that such transcendental level where actually i am thinking that all the time there is anand and anand just chamatkar bhav excellent that excellent anand happiness transcendental happiness is there that my heart is becoming total totally pure 
without any kind of an earth inside that that in that bhava it is just getting uh, drowned away just getting drowned in that rasa transcendental rasa that inside our heart that kind of illuminated bhav that our heart becomes illuminated by topmost transcendental rasa we are feeling transcendental happiness all the time inside our heart in that situation bhagwan in order to do the bhajan of bhagwan that kind of taste we can get for bhajan and in that taste automatically that from the previous uh, uh, sanskar that kind of taste he will get automatically towards that bhagwat bhajan that is called rasa bhavna bahut yas chamatkar bhar ho hidi satya jag bharam satyate mane which is which is actually tested at the taste milta hai you are getting the taste in that satyate swaros iska naam hai that is called rasa iska naam hai that is called actual rasa after that before that in uh, nothing is rasa it's all material and the first which are here is that that jeev ko se paath jeev ko swai paath se bhakti sandarbh in shri bhakti sandarbh he has written that this bhakto that the devotees in chaitanya chitamrit also it is written that the devotees He, it is giving anand to devotees bhagwan is giving happiness to transcendental happiness to devotees that devotees bhagwan what is giving them the actual happiness that is just by haladini shakti and in this material world what all jeevas we are seeing in the bonded condition they are actually taking the so called anand that is 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 called material happiness material anand that is material happiness and means that it is the shadow of haladini shakti that is the actual shadow of haladini shakti the power poverty reflection of haladini shakti that you can just see in this material world and you can just take that and um, material happiness and the transcendental happiness that is just haladini shakti so who you call haladini that this haladini that is called that is antaranga shakti ladini sandini sambit ladini these three thing these three shaktis ladini ke dwara by haladini that aprakrit and aprakrit jagat this world bhagwan each and every jiva is giving anand to them material anand he is getting material anand and when he will be having transcendental happiness he will get transcendental happiness in that so there actually is no particular no particular in that this is not like that that he will be doing like that so it is just naturally there हलादिनी शक्ति इज देयर इन गोलोक एंड इन अपराकृत जगत वैकुंठ इज जस्ट जनरल टर्म इन जनरल टर्म वी आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग वैकुंठ हेयर ऑल्सो भगवान एक्चुअली गिविंग अनंट टू द डिवोट इज ऑल्सो so that's why by sandhini bhagwan that parikar paraphernalias dham etc everything that avas thali everything it is just a expression of sandhini shakti aur and sambit matlab sambit means that sambandh gyan relationship with bhagwan that apra in aprakrit jagat if someone actually thinking in vaikunth also if he someone thinking that samband that he is my prabhu that i am i am his servant this kind of relationship also can be there any kind of relationship with bhagwan feasible relationship it is this this actually some after sandini which is sambit after sandini that perverted reflection of sandini we can just see in this material world that whatever this uh, uh, motor car cycle this land property we can see it is just the re- perverted reflection of sandini shakti we can see that in this material world and and by sambit that aprakrit jagat that kind of sambandh gyan etc divvik and everything is there that in this aprakrit anandamay vilas that topmost knowledge you can just taste that that the topmost anand you can get that kind of knowledge of brahm and that perverted reflection of that you can see in that material world that gyan vigyan sahitya whatever you can see 
it is this kind of yana just came from that only that in the transcendental world that sambit shakti that by sambit shakti only that samban relationship you are getting more and more uh, solid and when you are getting more solid relationship with bhagwan you can do you can do seva of bhagwan if you don't know no, don't know the relationship then uh, you can't uh, uh, false ego you cannot kick that off if you don't know have, have the actual relationship with bhagwan then how that false ego will go just to take gurudev diksha from gurudev and what is your actual relationship with gurudev you just need to understand is from your gurudev just by slowly steadily doing seva just by that by sambandh gyan that kind of false ego can go away so hala de ni what is there that in this aprakrit jagat bhagwan actually to his devotees what is speaking it it is speaking here that in this or, or, or aprakrit jagat what kind of anand you have this kind of anand you can just get from haladini shakti if there is no anand if in this material world no kind of happiness is there then you don't have the desire to uh, live here in this material world also no kind of de- de- uh, anand is there definitely that's why you are living so this aprakrit jagat what kind of anand you are getting that is not at all mixed at all that is of haladini shakti but this haladini the poverty reflection perfect poverty reflection of that uh, haladini you can see in this material world that is actually mixed so what you can see that is all kind of illegal love affair and maybe legal also still it is in this material world all actually legal but from transcendental world actually everything is illegal only only and only the vaishnav the actual sansar of vaishnav in this everything is legal and transcendental that's why bhagwan speaking that i've already we have already seen that inside bhagwan that antaranga shakti that haladini shakti the pleasure potency what is there inside the heart of bhagwan this uh, when it is co- coming out and uh, is actually going inside the heart of some devotee and getting inside the heart and it is going inside the heart of some devotee and some very magical and surprising seva why she is actually illuminating that inside the heart of one devotee at that what at that time what will happen that is called bhakti when inside in the heart of bhagwan it is there that is called antaranga shakti when it will is going inside the heart of one devotee and it, by the kripa of bhakti devi then it is called bhakti inside the heart of devotee when inside the heart of bhagwan it's already there so that is called antaranga shakti and when it, in the disciples in the devotees it's going that is called bhakti so bhakti this word just by speaking this word bhakti if we can just understand that bhagwan that priya anusandhana bhagwan just how we need to satisfy bhagwan how we need how to seek the satisfaction of bhagwan about this only we just those who have this kind of uh, thinking all the time that how we just need to satisfy bhagwan may we have to seek satisfaction of bhagwan how we can satisfy bhagwan if this kind of thinking there inside the heart of someone that kind of vichar is there inside him that he is devotee actual devotee it means that for bhagwan that kind of preeti and prem whosoever he is having that is called that is called devotee bhakto hriday mein inside the heart of a devotee that bhakti inside the heart those who have already established in bhakti that when we are actually just getting the vishay of bhagwan we are actually giving we are seeking the satisfaction of bhagwan at that time bhagwan is getting anand and devotees are also getting the transcendental pleasure towards bhagwan seva bhakto ko anand they are also getting the pleasure bhakti bhakto bhagwan sare nirgun hai everything is nirgun bhakti bhakti and bhagwan without any they are actually at one platform transcendental platform bhakti bhakti and bhagwan they are all at one level alag nahi it is they are not at all different at all aur 
and seva this word by this word that upasya vastu in order to get the actual satisfaction of the upasya vastu we just need to understand that why because over only under the akatya bhakt devotees that bhagavat seva it this kind of word you can just use that there use it there bhakto that bhakta and bhagwan just by so just by seva exchange of seva they are becoming one just bhagwan actually you they are not he is not at all karma vatsal and gyani vatsal bhagwan is all no where actually written in the shastras like that that bhagwan is actually karma vatsal and gyani vatsal it's not like that bhagwan is is bhakt vatsal this kind of thing is already written there भक्ति भक्ति भक्त भगवान देर इज वन कंपेरेटिव स्टेटमेंट वी नीड वी जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट जस्ट बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द डिवोट इज भाव एंड मे बी जस्ट गोइंग इन द फॉरवर्ड दैट रागा भक्ति इज जस्ट गेटिंग ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू रूपानुगा भक्ति विच वी आर एक्चुअली स्पिंग काम रूपा भक्ति एसेक्ट्रा ऑल दिस वी आर दिस काइंड ऑफ विच आर इज कमिंग राग वर्म चंद्रिका इन दिस लॉट ऑफ फॉर्मूलाज आर एक्चुअली बीन एक्सप्लेन हेयर lot of things are there actually this directly we just need to understand that but to now thoda uh, maybe we have some kind of uh, efforts like that what is what it is actually what it is actually we just need to understand we just need to understand that object and after that what is the actual uh, uh, pathway to just uh, take that object to achieve that object all this which are slowly steadily we just need to understand it's already written there in uh, in this book and we just have this kind of confidence that that we are actually doing this shloka nu karoti bhachala pangung langhat grim jat ki pa tamam bande parmanand madho so if we have confidence that's why we are speaking this no if we have definitely we have confidence that's why we are speaking this shlok what we are speaking that one pangu person that he can just uh, go up the hill he can go up the hill even now without any leg he can go one leg person he can just uh, uh, go and pass up the hill muk means that those who can't speak from his mouth his dumb and vacha alam means that lot, lot of persons who is actually lot, lot of things he is speaking even one person who is without tongue that who is dumb who don't have the capacity to speak anything from his mouth and other one that he can become vachal he can just speak all siddhant vichar it means and after that it is written that madhav by the kripa of that madhav that even a one leg person can cross the hill and a dumb person can just speak lot of siddhant which are by the kripa of mukund pangung langhet sailam mukam avartaye avartayet shutim jat kripa tamam bandhi कृष्ण चैतन्य हार्ट ऑफ डिवोट इज हाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट ईच एंड एवरी एक्शन ऑफ द डिवोट इज इट इज जस्ट एन इंडिकेशन दैट देर भक्ति इज ऑलरेडी देयर भक्ति इज ऑलरेडी देयर देर यू कांट सी भक्ति यू कैन सी the actual the actual uh, who manifestation of bhakti will be having that inside their heart you can just see their actions uh, that it is bhakti otherwise you can't understand and now this is the actual thing that bhakti and bhakti that those who are actually which is already there inside the heart of devotees and the uh, who, bhakti and what is there inside the heart of bhakti the actual uh, manifested form of bhakti there inside the heart of devotee that gradually from starting that utkarsh 
that incremental uh, condition will come in there that he has just got harinam diksha this day today and uh, overnight overnight you are become raganuga devotee it, it's not like that that's why it is written here that bhakti in the shastras it is written that bhakti and the actual adhara of bhakti the incremental process the gradual promotional procedure i'll give you one example regarding this that why bhagwan actually with devotees he actually all the time busy with playing with devotees how he is actually becoming so much um, uh, what is the actual role of bhagwan what he wants by just getting busy with devotees all the time playing that bhagwan is bhakt bhakti man i have already told in the english katha as well that bhagwan is is also a devotee bhagwan is also niskinchan bhagwan is also a devotee bhagwan bhagwan how he can be a devotee bhagwan is bhakt bhakti man bhagwan inside the heart that he has bhakti for devotees bhakti means action bhagwan wants to do something for devotees that's why bhagwan actually is actually bhakt bhakti man he wants to do something for devotees it's not like bhagwan don't have any bhakti we have bhakti for bhagwan and for bhagwan uh, actually he has bhakti for devotees bhagwan why he is niskinchan because bhagwan actually is the master of infinity brahmand bhagwan is actually infinity uh, master of infinity brahmand yes he is master of infinity brahmand but bhagwan actually speaking that i am niskinchan why because that i don't have any support apart from devotees only shrimati radharani is lotus feet i have that support by that uh, support i am actually just staying and living so that's bhagwan is actually niskinchan bhagwan already told that that is actually correct bhagwan is niskinchan this what is the meaning of niskinchan word you understand what is the actual meaning of niskinchan word how we can just speak that he is niskinchan bhagwan is niskinchan niskanchan you you can speak to him only that who don't have any kind of support in his life only the lotus feet of bhagwan is his support is his support in the life of those that only the lotus feet of bhagwan is their only support that he is niskanchan only if you have lot of uh, balance bank balance in millions of uh, millions of uh, rupees in your bank he will he'll become niskanchan it is not at all possible whatever uh, bhagwan also have that kind of devotion that antaranga shakti is there inside bhagwan then why bhagwan that uh, with antaring antaranga shakti haladani he is actually transferring it in the heart of some devotee or some person inside the heart of devotee he is actually transferring and uh, the devotees acharan atikesi what they are actually presenting that bhakti in the form of action they are actually just tasting that because that infinity brahman nothing is there apart from bhagwan that why he is actually doing that everything is of bhagwan only no why actually bhagwan is doing so much he is actually transferring that haladini shakti is actually manifesting inside the heart of one devotee and that devotee is actually what kind of action is doing that is actually bhagwan getting anand in that why why he is getting anand by the actual reason behind is that bhagwan wants to take more and more anand that all the small child or small boys they are actually playing with each other all the time and if someone actually speaking what is your actual uh, uh, mission and role the boys are playing all the time and they, they what is the actual uh, uh, role behind that why they want what is the actual target why they want to play because they are actually getting anand so bhagwan in the similar way getting anand by just they transferring his uh, bhak uh, haladini shakti inside the heart of devotees in the form of bhakti that inside the heart of devotees that they are getting anand all the time that i also want to taste that similar anand that's why i am inside the heart of devotees i want to just stay with the devotees all the time i am just getting anand because all the devotees are just loving me that's why and now from the womb of some mother one child is there inside the womb of one mother one child is there at that there is no his birth his birth time is not at not now he will take birth after some time but one affection is there for that child definitely when in the womb the that mother will be having that prema that preeti for the child why because inside the womb he is there but still some affection is there that how my boy will be like 
लुकिंग लुक्स लाइक एंड आफ्टर दैट वेन द बॉय वेन द बॉय वेन इज बॉय इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग बर्थ इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैन मदर इज गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर एफेक्शन एंड बिफोर द आविर भाव ऑफ दैट बॉय इन साइड द वोम दैट वेन द बॉय इज देयर एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो शी इज फीलिंग आनंद इन दिस देर इज सम डिफरेंस इन बोथ द आनंद और नॉट देर इज सम डिफरेंस इज देयर डेफिनेटली सम डिफरेंस इज देयर दैट इन साइड द वोम द चाइल्ड इज देयर डेफिनेटली मदर इज फीलिंग अफेक्शन फॉर हर और फॉर इज दैट चाइल्ड बट वेन द चाइल्ड गेटिंग बर्थ आफ्टर गेटिंग आउट ऑफ द बूम दैट काइंड ऑफ अनंत वॉट द मदर इज गेटिंग अफेक्शन दैट बिफोर दैट अफेक्शन वन द बॉय वॉज देयर इन द वूम शी इज फीलिंग मोर एंड मोर अफेक्शन दैट्स वाई इन साइड भगवान भलादिनी शक्ति इज ऑलरेडी देयर एंड वैन ही भगवान इज एक्चुअली जस्ट वाइब्रेटिंग दैट शक्ति एंड इज जस्ट गेटिंग ट्रांसफर्ड इन थ्रू द हाइट हार्ट ऑफ द डिवोट इज दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्शन इट्स बिकमिंग दैट भगवान इज बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर फ्रीज एंड इज गेटिंग मोर अनंत आउट ऑफ दैट वाई वाई ही इज गेटिंग दैट वॉट इज द एक्चुअल रीजन देर इज एक्चुअली नो युक्ति वाई एक्चुअली चाइल्ड आर प्लेइंग जस्ट दे आर एक्चुअली लाइकिंग इट दैट्स वाई दे आर प्लेइंग देर इज नो प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर दैट दैट्स वाई विद भगवान द लीला ऑफ डिवोटीज विद भगवान वेदर वेदर यू इज फ्रॉम द विधि मार्ग और वेदर इज फ्रॉम राग मार्ग एंड मे बी इन द ग्रेजुअल प्रमोशन प्रोसीडर ही कैन जस्ट गेट इन रागानु का भक्ति रूपानु का भक्ति वॉट एवर ही इज डूइंग दैट रागात्मिक का भक्ति इन एवरी थिंग भगवान इज जस्ट गेटिंग दैट टॉप मोस्ट ट्रांसडेंटल हैप्पीनेस ही इज जस्ट मेकिंग वन काइंड ऑफ वे देर इज वन काइंड ऑफ जस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ अफेक्शन भगवान एक्चुअली डूइंग दैट भगवान डेफिनेटली हैज लॉट ऑफ अनंत भगवान डोंट हैव लेस अनंत इन साइड हिम भगवान इज द एक्चुअली फॉर इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड इज गिविंग अनंत सो वाई एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट मोर अनंत so he is actually have that desire just want to play with all the jivas this is the actual in order to take the anand from the jivas there is one example regarding this that one bayu that the wind har cheezon mein in each and every place the wind in the five elements where wind air is there even in a piece of uh, steel also in a piece of steel also iron also there is one space that in five elements the air is there we can't see air element but still ether intermolecular space is there in between that in uh, iron piece also that intermolecular spaces are there definitely is there so whatever be the case now actually the actual thing is there that uh, wind the air element is each and everywhere he is it is there all the time but still this air element when actually it is uh, coming from the flute of some person that same uh, air he is actually just uh, taking it from the f- whole of a flute and from each and every flute he is actually just uh, harmonizing that from different different sound he is getting he is just uh, passing it slowly steadily then kind of very nice uh, 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 sound coming from that flute that kind of very harmonizing and sweet uh, sound coming from that flute and the uh, other person can get full anand is getting the stream of anand i want to speak that air is everywhere definitely what is actually special in that the air element is everywhere but the how to use that air there is one kind of standard how to use that air in which particular thing in how to use that air element it is also a special thing that we someone actually has uh, from france one devotee is from france only and he actually used to love me a lot now actually i can't see him from 15 20 years i haven't seen him his name is bimal krishna and he is the de- 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 disciple of param puja bhai shridhar goswami like his wife her wife his wife is also there both of them loves me a lot and also i just they also give me the kirtan book as well and they always used to come to gurudev as well all both wife and uh, husband they used to come to gurudev and gurudev after just disappearing uh, the disappearance leela of my gurudev they velvet nursing home i just came back from there and in the midway of the i was just discussing something with him and i am speaking with him where we are actually uh, uh, staying actually he is speaking that i am doing research are what research yes yes research actually i am doing on what purpose you are on sound i am doing research sound you are doing research i am actually becoming amazed surprised it's actually truth 
this is the topmost point that what is the effect of sound sound what is the effect of sound that is the topmost point he already researched that and he is speaking that one sound is there that just the actual flow of air there is one speciality regarding that whether orchestra is there well whatever instrument you are playing that you just need to just make sure that you have to uh, made uh, flow in a flow you just made to in a spe special way <coughs> that if you will just be uh, playing that then the monkey will become mad and uh, when you will be playing it in a different way and when you will be changing the sound then he will become calm he will just be feeling sleepy that gorilla and okay I am just getting a slight idea but not like this I am just getting some information from him so this air how to uh, just uh, use the air element that is also a big point there is a, some standard uh, set for that there is a how to use the air element so this vamshi dhvani the flute that kind of uh, there is one speciality regarding this so the same air only but how you are using that what is the actual uh, speciality about that the actual speciality is that that inside that how is actually getting the flow of air that is a technique that is the actual technique that is the actual technique so in that what will happen when uh, that uh, flute is coming uh, the sound is coming from that flute automatically he is getting so much anand we are just by hearing that we are getting so much anand that you can't even understand that so this is the actual thing so like this only that in this infinity brahman bhagwan is the topmost uh, uh, master of this infinity brahman bhagwan is the only uh, master of this infinity brahman nobody is there and in this infinity brahman what kind of shakti is there and what kind of energy is there all actually is coming from the original source bhagwan that shakti bhagwan whether you can see prakrit in this material world whether it's of the aprakrit jagat transcendental world everything is coming from bhagwan only but that same shakti when it is coming outside the outside the heart of bhagwan and is getting getting manifest in the heart of the devotees and it's coming in the form of action in the form of bhakti then bhagwan is feeling more and more anand bhagwan is getting more and more anand like you can see the child is in the womb and the mother actually feeling affection and when the boy is getting uh, uh, avirbhav then mother actually feeling lot of affection and do doing all joking with the child in both the conditions there is definitely some differences there this is the actual thing you just need to understand that so that is the thing so like rag bhakti what is the actual secrecy of rag bhakti that this rag bhakti rag varma chandrika it that what vishnu chakravarti pad what in order he is actually showing us the actual pathway what is the actual point different different things if we'll be just having different different vichar anukul pratikul and that nirapeksha vichar lot of vichar he has just shown us definitely we'll be in this kartik month we'll be discussing that and after that that some background i will be just making it before starting and we have just seen now that bhakti bhakt and bhagwan but the bhakti there is some gradation regarding bhakti there is some gradation according according to the gradation of bhakti that some bhakti ka gradation that according to the gradation of bhakti bhakto ka the devotees that kind of uh, the degree of consciousness towards bhakti it uh, devotees will rise like i have already told you aur chaya me wo aur chaya me wo hare jo pujam sadya ihate swabhakto prakriti se tha ishvare tad dineshu bali se suddisha sucha prem maiti ki po peksha karti jo so madhum सर्वभूते सुज पश्य भगवत भाव आत्मन भूतानी भगवत आत्मन एश भगवत देर इज सम ग्रेडेशन रिगार्डिंग दिस inside uh, the heart of someone that's what kind of bhakti is there according to that he will be he is getting the uh, you can uh, add value to that cost whatever gradation is there whatever kind of bhakti is there degree of bhakti inside his heart 
of a particular person whatever kind of particular bhakti is there inside is what kind of bhakti he has inside according to that gradation is there according to that that this categorization is it is categorized according to that categorically it is actually categorized according to that that in this infinity brahman there are infinity devotees of bhagwan and each and every person that bhakti there is the actual uh, root the actual manifestation the bhav it is not at all same everyone has different kind of bhav that's why the devotees that that's that gradually this is actually sadhan bhakti etc all these shlokas though by association so that by a satsang that Sri Krishna Vishaya that those are Krishna oriented that Shravan Kirtan etc all that sadhan bhakti just by doing that slowly steadily that Shraddha, etc. That Shraddha, gradually, just by going ahead, that you can get Rati and then will get transformed into Bhav. When that Bhav will just get manifested, that Shraddha Bhakti, it will just get transformed into Prema Bhakti. It means definitely that Prema Bhakti will get manifested automatically. Bhakti and Bhakta, that kind of Utkarsh. Who, what Bhakti is at what stage? Just by not understanding that, that this Raag Varma Chandrika, in order to just discuss that, we are discussing it, that kind of Utkarsh between the devotees and the Bhagwan. That Utkarsh means that inside devotees, that for each and every devotee is actually with one one bhav is actually just uh, uh, doing, uh, uh, have some attraction towards Bhagwan. It means that what he, maybe Bhagwan will have satisfaction for this or that. So this kind of seeking satisfaction for Bhagwan, Bhagwan is different for different devotees. So this kind of action or bhakti and quality of bhakti is there, what kind of bhav they are serving Bhagwan, up till what level and gradation, what kind of bhakti, how much kind of bhakti are there. So this vichar it is very much important to do. And the second point is there that that prem, prem utkarsh, that prem can go up till what point? That what is the actual extreme point of prema that we have already heard in Chaitanya Shri Chaitanya Chiritamrit that Radha Rani that prema there is that is endless that uh, prema of Gopikas is endless it has no limitation it has no limit at all it is limitless that's why in Chaitanya Chiritamrit it is written that for that this prema that kind of Gopikas bhav it is actually just going above limit it is just increasing it is incremental day by day maybe some place much be there no no it is limitless it there is no limit of that every second it is just increasing it's already written just there is that frame there is no pathway where it is going it is just go increase this is actually vibhu vastu the vibhu object that what kind of material conception that is totally wrong you can't apply that on the transcendental world that conception is totally false it is increasing but still it is more and more increasing so that's why it is written that gopikas that and for krishna inside them that kind of uh, exchange of prema it's already written in chaitanya jatamrit that that there is actually no place to just increase but still it is increasing this kind of which are actually spoken inside that if someone no but if someone is not all believing that then that is called you don't have any kind of information regarding a prakrit jagat transcendental jagat why because in the upanishad also it is already written in the transcendental world that complete uh, complete definition of a complete object is that in the transcendental world the, what do you mean by a complete object that if you will be just uh, subtracting a complete object from complete world that complete will be there that's why Radhika Rani that Prema and Gopika's Prema it is still endless but still 
it is endless it, there is actually no place that their love is actually expanding so this is the actual siddhant from the shastras this prema this prem for each and every uh, fraction of second it is just taking different different form and is uh, giving uh, different different anand to bhagwan that prem this is just one kind of general term prem this is just one kind of general term you just need to understand that means that this prem up till which stage it will be there at what condition and what stage it will be there according to that it will be just go on increasing what will happen that you will get sneh man rag anurag bhav everything you will get this is actually prem that general term actually is prem but still there is some gradation regarding this prem just by increasing slowly steadily up till what point it will go maharaj slowly steadily it is by increasing it will go to sneh man pranay राग अनुराग भाव महाभाव इट विल गो अप टिल दैट अप टिल दैट पॉइंट इट विल गो इट मीन्स दैट प्रेमत उत्कर्ष दैट एक्सट्रीम पॉइंट ऑफ प्रेमा बट दिस इन द अपराकृत जगत इट कैन बी डन बट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ओनली इफ सम पर्सन इज डूइंग रागानुग भक्ति सो मच प्रेम प्रेम इज टॉप मोस्ट इन रागानुग भक्ति बट स्टिल in this material world that in by taking the sadhak body slowly steadily by doing bhajan that prema he can just go up to the prem stage the by this body when after leaving this body he will be just taking the other body it is a different thing the actual devotees in this present body just by taking this present body he can go up till to the step of prema that is sadhya has that kind of limitation after that there is no yes, limit for sadhya because chaitanya mahaprabhu was speaking this yes, he is sakshat swayam bhagwan he is and bhagwan actually he is actually the milit vikrah of radha govind combined form of radha govind the radha govind combined form is uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu the uh, word shrimati radha rani the actual vikar of radha rani the actual bhav of radha rani the actual bhav of radha rani this kind of bhava this uh, it is inconceivable it is out of her mind the modan and madan this only shrimati radha rani apart from her nobody nobody it can get applicable it is not at all applicable anywhere only radha rani but our chaitanya mahaprabhu in chaitanya charitamrit he is actually speaking very surprisingly and very it is just very surprising what it is written there इन चैतन्य जी तामरे वैन गौरांग महाप्रभु दैट प्रेम विकार वी आर सींग दैट इन चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज दैट प्रेम विकार वी कैन सी इन द शास्त्र इट इज जस्ट रिटर्न लाइक दिस दैट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय दैट दैट इन दिस निलोक that in this whole 14 world that this prem you cannot see and nobody has seen this kind of prem at all and in the shastras also it is not at all written that radha rani that or it is written in the shastras about radha but not this kind of thing is not at all written in the shastra it's very surprising because radha govind yugal that that from radha rani nobody is more top most but still radha rani when he he is actually getting inside gorang mahaprabhu at that time that priya pritam that uh, that top most ananya uh, that uh, ekata that kind of uh, togetherness god that time we were actually discussing that point the uh, that day that mercury mercury you know hg para that mercury when with that some uh, honey is just mixed with that <coughs> and you will be just tasting that you will not get any kind of taste it will not at all get why because it is this is different that is different but when that st- slowly steadily you will be just pasting it day by day at one one day what will happen that one pasting pasting will be done some day and this kind of pasting that rasayan just by a discovery or research by by some other uh, chemical uh, bonding you can just be putting it in the sand for 20 to 25 years or 10 years you just need to uh, put it in some sand down 
buried buried into that and after that there is some marking and for what medicine for what medicine you just need to just uh, buried it at what time it's written documents there in the ayurvedic shastra it is written up till what time limit we just need to bury it in the sand and after that when they will picking up then it is called makar dwaj that it is a life saving medicine you understand what i am speaking this mercury and this honey when para and honey when it is just made but when your paste and when will mercury separately it is going inside our uh, body we will just die immediately but when it is coming in the form of a medicine in front of us it is a life saving medicine it has undergone some transformation and some procedure and reaction by that chemical bonding and now actually that mercury is converted into a pure life saving medicine radha govind you look like it is just like pasting they have some unification done and then by doing that unification that ekagrata that togetherness of unification radha krishna milit vigrah radha krishna that radha krishna vikriti ladin shakti rasmat ekatmanu upi deho bhedam gato to chaitanya aksham the just by taking the permission of mahaprabhu the heat is just get avirbhav in this material world so it is very much ashchary uh, 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 in chaitanya jay tamre so it's very surprising this point is there nobody has seen in this whole infinity brahman this kind of thing in the shastras also it is not written anywhere like this in the shastras also this kind of thing is not at all written in the shastra that this kind of prem is possible that this kind of vikar of prem is possible so this can be possible like it is nobody has uh, think that within this creation it can be possible not at all that in this whole human being creation and in this dev lok creation in gandharva lok creation where you will go there is no kind of uh, thing uh, like this radha krishna vikriti ladini shakti rasmad ekatmanu upi bhuvi pura deho vedam gato to चैतन्याख्यम राधा कृष्ण दैट प्रणय विकृति दैट टॉप मोस्ट आनंदमय शक्ति और एंड जो भी अलग वॉट एवर डिफरेंट इज देयर लगता है कि इट लुक्स लाइक दैट एवरी थिंग इज एक आकार that stop so top most togetherness is there that from one you cannot just differentiate from other one it is not at all uh, possible to identify one from other and we can just speak in chaitanya ji namo already written ek atma ek atma that krishna that is radharani but still just taking two bodies and just came in one body combined in order to get the tasting of the top most rasa or and, and in this present situation this chaitanya aksham it is just getting appeared in front of us this mahaprabhu which is just coming in front of us in the form of radha govind as one unification form as magorang mahaprabhu he is just that kind of bhav of radha rani and the uh, bodily uh, bodily color bodily color of radha rani bhagwan shri krishna has just got manifested in front of us jagati jana tu ki kon hai who is actually there like that radharo mahima premo raso sima jagati jana jodi gaur na hoy to tobe ki hoy to kemote kemone dhori tam so now this kind of vichar you see slowly steadily we will be going in depth in this vichar radha krishna pranaya vikritir ladini shakti rasmad ekatmanu upi bhuvi pura deho vedam krito to chaitanya aksham prakada madhuna tat dayam chakkam aktam radha bhavo duti subalitam nomi krishna sarupam 
so after this one we'll be just giving rest up till this point tomorrow we'll be doing the actual vichar that in this human form it is not at all possible like this neither in future not in the present not in the past nobody has seen this kind of from this kind of prema nobody has seen